What's up guys, welcome to this video here on King David 66. Um, I wanna take a minute and talk to you guys about something that happened a few days ago. Um, I was, so I was talking to this girl on Facebook and uh, she's a Christian and a lot of people follow her and look to her, you know, about, I would say not for guidance necessarily, but they, you know, they take what she says for real about the Bible, okay? So she made this post about, um, you know, nowhere in the Bible does God say that uh, he'll prosper you financially and God doesn't need you and uh, you know just because you have or just because you have faith doesn't mean you'll be healed of stuff and um, you know sometimes God may put sickness on you and that's the a totally wrong way to think about God and I'll explain why but I normally stay out of like those Facebook type things but in this I decided to you know put my two cents in and share what the word says so it's important that you rightly divide the word basically what I told her was uh, she would give me a few scriptures saying that you know well, well uh, it's harder to go through the eye of a needle or for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter heaven and so she's like see so God doesn't really want you to have money and uh, it says in Mark 9 that uh, Jesus uh, told this person that came to for healing, you know, that this person was born this way. Uh, I forgot the exact uh, scripture how it goes, but like this was done so that, but the will of God should be done. Or she used the translation of the Bible saying that um, this person got this sickness so that the works of God may be manifest. But it's an incorrect translation. Like you have to, it, it was translated by people, right? I would say you need to stick to the King James. Uh, sometimes uh, certain translations, the translators could like translate it a little off and it give a meaning that it wasn't intentionally uh, intended to give, okay? So you gotta remember a few things. God wants you to have money, right? And God wants your body to be well and he wants your mind and emotions to be right. Okay, so what she was doing was she was taking a few scriptures and they were out of context. I don't know if she obviously learned it that way. But what you have to uh, know is that the Bible says to rightly divide the word. Okay, you can wrongly divide the word. And what you have to do is, I told her this, like, the Bible says let every word be established by two or three witnesses. Okay, so she gave me that scripture on healing that God, you know, put it on her. Uh, that person just so that the works of God could be manifested or that person could be healed but I was like can you give me any more you know because you can't I could give you like you know 20 and 30 scriptures on everything I'm saying because it's like when you read the newspaper you don't just open up and just pick one line and and say this is what the writer's saying no you have to take it all in context that's what I mean by rightly dividing the word so, for example, I started telling her 3 John uh, chapter, 3 John verse 2 says, Beloved, talking about Christians, we're the beloved. I wish above all things that you prosper, prosper, that means financially, and be in health, even as your soul prospers or your mind, will, and emotions prosper. Those three areas show that God wants you well monetarily, physically, and in your emotions, okay? And he did things on the cross for that Isaiah 53 verse 4 through 5 talks about that by his stripes we are healed um, and also um, what else did I say about finances like she's saying see so money's bad because you know Jesus said it's hard for the you know harder for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for rich man to enter heaven but you have to talk about what the context is and the context is saying that for those who love money because the Bible says, I told her that the love of money is the root of all evil. She's saying, see, money's the root of evil. She said the love of money, but it's the love of money. When, because you cannot serve God and money. So uh, rich people who are already rich, it may be harder for them because they put so much faith and trust in their money when they have to put it in God. But the Bible, but I told her, you're going to have a hard time with that because the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord makes rich. So if God makes you rich and it's hard for rich people to go to heaven, then, you know, God's like working against himself and a kingdom divided cannot stand. 
So you have to rightly divide the word when you look at scripture. The Bible says God gives us richly all things to enjoy. First uh, Timothy six seventeen. Um, it says God delights himself in the prosperity of his servants. So God wants you to have material things. So it's unfortunate because um, the whole point of this is that if the devil can get Christians to think that it's God uh, making them sick, it's God making them poor, then he's totally got them defeated. You need to uh, rightly divide the word and only listen to people who talk about um the Bible accurately and who rightly divide it, who talk about God wanting you to have wealth and God, the Bible says Jesus himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Um, Psalms 103 says that bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all our uh, iniquities, who heals all our diseases. So God wants you well in every way. Um, that's what I want to talk about in this video, like beware of uh, doctrines of devils really um, because they're just going to lead you astray and if you're thinking that God's making you sick you're not going to resist sickness and the Bible says that Jesus came or that the devil came to steal kill and destroy and he'll be able to do that easily if you are wrongly dividing the word and taking a few scriptures out of context and um, making it out to be something that it's not and not that she knows that but I was trying to enlighten her a little bit on this so um point of this video is just beware of that type of thinking and that, those type of doctrines and um why it's important so i hope you learned a little bit and you were all enlightened a little bit by this video so um if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button it uh, helps to grow and expand the channel uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and we'll talk to you next time